I'm Leanne Moriarty and this is my Life in Books. The book that changed my life is Feeling Sorry for Celia by my beautiful sister Jacqueline Moriarty. It's a hilarious, award-winning, heartwarming young adult novel. And the reason it changed my life is because I was filled with so much envy that she had finally achieved our childhood dream uh, that I then went and uh, wrote my first novel, Three Wishes. So I always say that if it wasn't for Jackie's feeling sorry for Celia, I wouldn't be here. I would still be alive, um, but I wouldn't uh, be an author. So I'm so grateful to her for writing that wonderful book. So the book that most influenced my own writing is The Accidental Tourist by Anne Tyler, who is my favourite author of all time. Uh, the reason is because I hadn't realised that you could write about ordinary people uh, in such an extraordinary way. So in The Accidental Tourist there are two characters, actually three, who are siblings and they're always getting lost. And my siblings and I, even though we are the daughters of a surveyor, uh, are always getting lost. So it was a strange sort of revelation to me that I, why couldn't I write about such a thing? So uh, I can always tell when my own writing uh, starts to become too influenced by the wonderful Anne Tyler because I overuse italics and I also, uh, my characters start to sound like they live in Baltimore rather than Sydney. Um, but I'm so grateful to Anne Tyler. The book that I give most often as a gift is Blue Hat, Green Hat by Sandra Boynton. Uh, it's a children's book, a uh, hardcover picture book. And the reason is that my sister uh, once told me that it was the first book that made her little boy laugh when she was reading it to him. And so I bought the same book and I can remember holding off, I wanted to read it to my own little boy um, and make sure he was old enough to laugh. He was about 18 months old at the time. And it's a very simple book, it's a, uh, but it goes blue hat, green hat, red hat, oops. And it continues on with that rhythm. And I can always remember, um, yeah, he just did a little smile at the first oops and then a little chuckle at the next one and then by the end he was just peeling with laughter and it's such a special memory for me and then I did the same with my little girl read it to her around the same age and again it's just guaranteed um, to make a little child laugh and it's gorgeous. The book that had the biggest impact on me as a child is The Shape of Three by Lilith Norman and it's about uh, twins who are separated at birth. So uh, two boys are at the movies one day and another boy is in the same line and he turns around and he sees his identical twin um, because his identical twin is actually off somewhere living uh, a different life and I was obsessed with this book as a child and I can still remember that moment in the that scene in the movie queue and as a result I have been obsessed with twins and triplets all my life I was desperate to have twins myself uh, my husband's grandmother said you don't know what you're talking about uh, I didn't end up with twins myself but I did keep putting twins and triplets into so many of my novels it's embarrassing <laughs>